Concrete is the most abundant material in the world after water. But the process of making concrete is extremely carbon intensive, responsible for about 8% of all human-caused carbon dioxide emissions every year. A lot of solutions are getting underway that could help reduce the overall climate impact of making concrete. Today we're going to learn about one of those ideas, a first-of-a-kind initiative in New York City that developers hope could roll out nationwide. The process starts inside a high-rise apartment building. Brian Asparo of CarbonQuest takes us below ground to see how the company captures CO2 from the building's gas-fired boilers. First, we take off the exhaust coming from a boiler system or a combined heat and power system that would ordinarily gun out the chimney stack to create emissions. Step two, we then separate the carbon dioxide from nitrogen and oxygen. Step three, we liquefy that carbon dioxide. And step four, we store it in a tank and transfer it to applications. Trucks collect the CO2 so it can later be put into concrete, a process that keeps greenhouse gases out of the atmosphere and also makes for stronger blocks. So right now we're on the way from Midtown Manhattan to Southeast Brooklyn. We're gonna see Glenwood Mason Supplies facility where they inject CO2 into concrete. Jeff Hansen of Glenwood Mason Supply shows us how his firm uses the CO2 when making its concrete blocks, up to 40,000 of them per day. Six years ago, we partnered with Carbon Cure who has technology that will turn CO2 into a solid and allows us to inject it into our blocks. And CarbonQuest, we partnered with them about two and a half years ago, and they developed technology that will pull CO2 out of the flue liners of the buildings in New York City. And we inject that CO2 with our carbon cure technology into our block where it's there forever. Then we send that block back into the city, create that circular economy. The technology doesn't directly reduce emissions from concrete production, but by capturing and storing CO2, it can help cut the block's overall footprint by about 5%. Meanwhile, Glenwood Mason is working to further curb its own CO2 emissions by using less carbon-intensive cement in its blocks. Ultimately, this project is just one step in the bigger effort to decarbonize concrete.